So pheno stands for a fraction of exhaled nitric oxide. So it's simply the concentration in parts per billion of nitric oxide in exhaled air. Um, nitric oxide is released by the cells that line the airway. Um, and that release is to some extent under the control of IL-13. Now IL-13 is a cytokine that's intimately involved in type 2 immune responses. So when there's IL-13 activity in the airway, there's increased nitric oxide production, which you can detect by measuring it uh, in exhaled air. So um, a normal pheno is under 25 parts per billion, and a reading of above 50 parts per billion is really very suggestive of type 2 airway inflammation. Um, and this type 2 airway inflammation is a critically important treatable trait in patients with airways disease. So it's, it's something that you really do have to assess and know about for a number of reasons. Firstly, uh, patients with asthma and type 2 airway inflammation are known to be at risk of asthma attacks. Um, and this risk is particularly high if they have a high pheno and a high blood eosinophil count. So if they've got the two together, we know that, that group of patients um, are at between a three and five fold increased risk of having an asthma attack. And that increased risk is independent of lung function and symptom scores, um, um, gene or treatment step. So, so I, I see pheno and blood eosinophils as like the airway cholesterol and blood pressure. You know, they are markers that tell you that the patient um, is at risk of a you know serious event, which is an asthma attack. Um, but this risk is modifiable with treatment. So we know that you can reduce the risk to down to very low levels um, with appropriate treatment, whether it's inhaled steroids um, in, in a patient with uh, mild asthma or um, biologic treatment with anti-IL-5 or anti-IL-413 in patients with um, more severe asthma. So pheno identifies a crucially important treatable trait um, and it's absolutely essential that it's assessed in patients with, um, with, with asthma.